everyone it's me amanda and i am back with another subscription box saturday today is the november I had to get your door box dude's an acorn cute so oops this is the gold box i think it's 124 plus shipping whatever it was worth it and i think there are some christmas goodies in here so i'm stoked um, so this is a fully customizable subscription box and I will go ahead and put all their stuff in the description down below and then up here I will play I'll link the playlist to all the other magic at your door unboxings I've had I did August and September and now it's November oh wait no it is just no no I did September October and now November I can I can thank you guys Look, so it says, let the magic begin. Also, just an FYI, I got this box today and it is December 1st. So this is going up the second week of December, I think. I think it's going up on the 12th. But I got it today. I had to open it immediately because, hello, this is a box. But, um,. It shipped before this, and I got hung up somewhere because of COVID. Like, I always get the shipping track in, tracking on these, and it, like, spent way too many days somewhere. It's supposed to arrive yesterday. But it's not the company's fault. So I guess I'll live. It's Tuesday, which means it's Taco Bell Tuesday, so Erica is here. She just wanted to hide like a baby pants. That's okay, because we still love her. <laughs> so, we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna. This is what you see when you open up the box. And look, so many fun Christmas colors. Move this. Ooh, red box. And I'm making a mess. Whatever, it's cool. Fixed. I don't like messes. That might surprise you, but. I'm not a mess person. Oh, really quick before I start, I forgot to show this. So you might remember I got an ER version of this. This is actually came from the Magic at Your Door shop, which I've mentioned in the past. So they have a shop more than just their subscription boxes, and they had offered a discount code to their Facebook group, and I was able to pick up little Pooh in his honey pot at the tiny gym shore. And he will go perfect with my Eeyore. Look at his honey pet. So he will go with Eeyore. I just wanted to show you guys when I did my Magic at Your Door video since it kind of goes, since it's part of their shop. Once again, I'll link that down below. Let's see. It looks like they have a couple different things. Like I said, you can order directly from their shop. And then it comes with the special price guide because Disney can't be like anyone else on the planet and just be normal. Oh god, there's a fuzzy on the ground that's gonna bother me. Okay, price is averted. You can laugh at me, it's fine. Alright. Should we start with our gold couch? Let's do it. I think I know one thing that's in this box because I kind of special requested it and stalked the Facebook page for a while and I may or may not have emailed them because I really wanted it like really bad. So I think I know one item that's in here. <laughs> so hopefully it's in here and I'm not like gonna start crying later. Okay, this is their pin. They do a fantasy pin every month. But it's like Chip and Dale on an acorn, which I had seen it but like it's like literally like their heads are on spring like it's, it's like so funny to look at wow okay that's gonna be interesting on my pin board like that's so cute but like it's so strange <laughs> but it's cute I think that was all that was in our gold pouch but like you have to check everything because they hide things and things I don't know. 
I've missed stuff before when I was unboxing, so like I always make sure that I check all, all the things. Did you have to? Ugh, I'm loving all the Christmas colors though, because that's my jam. Okay. I love Christmas. I wasn't going to get this box at first, the November box, because I was going to get the December one, but then they left that lovely note in the last newsletter that said that all the Christmas stuff would be going in this box, so I changed my mind. I think I'm going to skip the December one. Maybe we'll go back in January. Like, I was going to downgrade to, like, the silver or bronze box, because this is the gold box, but the person that, like, owns the company, like, strongly suggests that if, like instead of downgrading that you should um like if you're trying to save money or something that you should just skip a month instead of downgrading because you get the best value out of the gold box guys they're here these are what i wanted and these are what i special requested that's why i wasn't wearing ears at the beginning of the video because i'm gonna be in here these are the uh the wishes ears I can't remember the exact name for them, but they were part of the um, campaign where part of the money was, oh no, where part of the money was donated to Make-A-Wish, which is really cool. I love that organization. Oop, there we go. Trash, because I'm keeping these. Are we ready? So excited. I love this color blue, and they're sparkly, so. Hello. Yay! I love them. <sighs> They're cute. And they'll eventually go with my other ear collection. Alright. Okay, there's a box here. And it literally has a bit of information on it. So that just makes it kind of exciting. But also maybe kind of terrifying. As I said before, I'll tell you guys, though, like, it's fully customizable. You fill out a survey and stuff. Like, you can say things you like and things you don't like and things you don't want to see in your box. And, uh, maybe in the future I'll do a video with, like, what I filled out for all these boxes that I get because, I don't know, it might be interesting if I have some weird ones. I've told Erica some of them and she's like, what the heck? <laughs> Especially, like, my end preferences, like... I feel like people probably laugh at them because they're a little strange. Alright, so it looks like this is an ornament, which, hello, best day ever. I love ornaments. I love Christmas. It's officially Christmas time. Like, I am a firm believer of, like, as soon as October's over, it's Christmas time. And then, like, the week of Thanksgiving, it's not Christmas for, like, that one week. And then, like, it really gears up after Thanksgiving's over, like, the day after. But I know other people aren't like that. But like, I, oh my god, this ornament's so cute. And I've almost bought it. But I didn't buy it because I was trying to be good. But now I have it, so technically it's fine. It is glass. Oh, and it says it's $16.95. Oh my gosh. And it, like I said, I love their ornaments. They're just so cute. But look, it's a little chip. When he's blowing bubbles and then his mom yells at him and he gets in trouble. They recently made a Funko Pop of this moment and I may or may not have also gotten that. I mean, I definitely did. Okay, I will say that the only bummer about this, I wish that um, the ornament, like, it's not flat on the bottom. So you can't, like, sit it. So, like, when, like it, it can only, like, be a hanging option, which is kind of a bummer. Because, like, some of the ornaments that Disney also designs... Like, you can also, like, use them as a figure during the year. You can just kind of, like, hide the string. But this is one that will definitely have to hang. And it is, like, glass and super, fro like, fragile. So I don't know if I'd hang it in my collection room just because I do live in California and we do get earthquakes. And that would scare me. But how cute. And, like, it shows his little chip. Let me see if they... Oh, it says 2018 Disney, so this must be an old ornament. But I'm okay with that, because I didn't have it. 
I don't know what to do with this right now. There we go. It's safe. And I will definitely be keeping this box and I'll be writing chip on it because I am that person that keeps their ornaments in the exact boxes that they came in because why not? Yay Christmas! It's happening. Christmas is happening guys. They have like a butt ton of ornaments on their Facebook page that I wasn't super a huge fan of. Oh man, I remember wearing a sweatshirt when I did these, but like it's cold here. I mean, it's not cold compared to the rest of the world, but like it's California cold. So, and there's more things on the ground. I'll get those later. Although, it's gonna bother me, but that's okay. I'll learn to work with the messes. I'm also going to save the bubble wrap because I mail things all the time in pins. So, I need that. Another ornament! <sighs> it's thin! Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So, he is flat and you can actually like use him as like a decoration. So, I think that this one came out this year. I don't know. Hand painted. That's cute. Let's see. Doesn't say the year, but look, he's tangled in the lights. Here, I'll put the slicer down. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? I'm obsessed with him. So they definitely are listening to my preferences because I literally was like, I left like my preference of it, and I was like. I don't really like Halloween, but I really, 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 really love Christmas, so uh, I would 100% love Christmas. Like, I'd be okay if Christmas lasted forever. Like, I know that other people would not be. Sorry. There's two boxes in here, people. There's two boxes. I think I know what's in this blue box, so we'll do that one first, because... If it's what I think it is, it's pretty freaking magical. You know, I will say that it was easier when I used to throw the extra confetti papers away. But now that I saved them to mail things, it's a little more challenging to not make a mess. It is what I thought it was going to be. I'm going to pull out. This is also on my preferences. But, oh, so I didn't finish saying that, but... My preferences, um, I put Chris or I put Christmas, but I love Beating the Beast. It's my all-time favorite. But also, I put as one of my favorite characters is Spin because I love all the animals. They're like my soul spirits, and I just love them. So pretty much any animal from any of my favorite movies, and I do love. Um, I love Tangled more than I love Frozen, but Frozen's up there in the top 10, but like, like Pua from Moana is on there, Maximus from Tangled, Pascal, I love Maximus though. And then, of course, all of our favorite Disney dogs are on my preferences, but definitely I also have Spin because I just love his little personality, he's so cute. And I 1 million percent it, like... If there was an option to own a reindeer, one million percent would. So this is a Disney Collections item. And it comes like in a blue box like a Jim Shore. I'm not exactly sure if Jim Shore does these. But I don't really care. It's a showcase collection. And it's the Beauty and the Beast Chalice. Let me find the front. So like it's this giant cup, which is beautiful. It has rubies. Like showcase feature. Oh. So it starts here. It shows the castle. And the enchanted rose that the lady, the sorceress, shows. And then he's mean, turns into a beast. And then he finds Belle and is a prince again. It skips a lot in the middle, but that's okay. But it is a cup, and it looks like kind of like 
like a medieval go like goblet thing. But this will look great in my Beauty and the Beast room. It's clearly not actually made for drinking. I mean, I literally couldn't drink out of this because I'd be afraid I'd break it. But it's so pretty. And I saw this. This was on the wish list, and I hearted it so freaking fast. And then I thought they'd run out because they didn't have it on the wish list for a little bit. But then it came back, and I made sure I put it back on again because, like, it's beating the beast. I needed it. Like, let's be honest. I need most things that are beating the beast, so I don't need them. I guess it's a want, not a need thing, but whatever. back because it's part of my like little OCD thingy. You know? Alright, let's check this all the other stuff. Although I totally got like way more in this box than I thought that I was going to get because like I said I knew I was getting these beauties. And the ears retail for $29.99. And then yeah. Alright. So here's our red box. Looking at the spoiler because I don't know what this one is. I can't even think of like ones that I've seen that have come out recently. Because I have the two Being the Beast ones that I really wanted, which I got from boxes, which was fantastic. Then I have the those two beautiful Eeyore ones. Sorry, you had to listen to that sound like four times this video, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. That's what I do. I can't handle how much they tape these things. Like, I get that it's to protect them, but like, it's so annoying that they do the whole freaking outside. I mean, I guess if my stuff came broken, I'd be really upset, so they maybe just can't live with me. Right. Am I gonna like it? Okay, I can kind of see through my eyes that Eric is nodding yet, so we'll see. <gasps> it's Brewing Piglet! On the walk! <laughs> That's adorable. I have in fact seen this one. It might have been on my wish list because, uh, like, Brewing Piglet. They're not my favorite, but I do love my 100 Acre Void friends. I mean, and for some... That's a really weird angle. Like, that's weird for Pooh's feet. Like, I feel like that's not normal. Maybe get that checked out. <laughs> This is a truncated conversation. Cute, because it's on a trunk. Nice one. Nice one, everybody. Oh, it has stuff on my hand. Oh my god, it's so cute. And I want to say that they don't really have that many Eeyore gym shorts, so I'll have to also get into the other 100 year void characters, but I do really like this one. Alright, so this one is technically called Truncated Conversation, but it also says Pooh and Picklet on Log, so that's the unfancy version. And this was $50, that was well worth it. And then I said my ears are $29.99. This, the chalice was $35. The goblet, Beauty and the Beast goblet. The pin, I think every gold member gets that as like a freebie, but like the pin's so cute. And what else did I get? Oh, I got my Sven thing. Like, this is adorable. And uh, when I put my tree up, he'll be going on it. And I also got my chip thing. Like, how cute. Wow. I'll try and add up the value if I can figure it out. I, I don't do math in my head. It's, it's, I'm not a math person. I, I don't I don't do math in my head. So I'll try and remember, but I definitely made I definitely have more value in my box than what I paid for. Because like I said, I think it's 124 that I pay 
for the box and then I think they just started charging shipping but I feel like they only charge like $9.99 which is great especially to California because I swear companies that are not in California charge like California like way more and I don't know if it's because of like laws or what what the issue is but I am all for paying $9.99 only for shipping because it's a pretty large box so yeah all right favorite item okay my favorite item that I did not like stock online and request is definitely the Beauty and the Beast go goblet but like if I had to pick like a favorite favorite like obviously it's the ears because I really really wanted these and like I said I, I literally stocked them and emailed them and they said that they were gonna put them in my box because they're so pretty and like I love getting ears in boxes because like they're a little bit more special like I could have gotten these online but like, I didn't want the stress of having to go through the waiting room of Shop Disney, and it's just way more fun and special to open them, even though I knew they were going to be in there. My bad. That's okay. That's the only time I've ever done that, and it probably will be the only item that I do that for, because, no, no, probably will not. If they come out with something like this, again, I'll probably stock them again. But... They did get my Christmas memo. I got two Christmas items and I'm so happy. And then I also got like my other favorites. I got 100 Acre Woods, which actually is really funny because I just ordered this from the same company. I wonder if that's why they sent that, maybe. And then, like I said, I got Beyond the Beast. So it really, it's all my loves in one box. And it was a surprise, so it's perfect. All right. That's going to be it. Make sure you like the video, comment down below what your favorite item was, and if you are as obsessed with Christmas as I am. Like, are you? I, I don't know. Like, I, I literally sent into our, like, BFF group chat, like, the day after Halloween, like, November 1st, like, I was drinking out of, like, snowman mugs and was like, it's Christmas! And everyone was like, no. But that's okay. I, I, I'll get them on my level eventually. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.